Imagine a world where ice giants, some hundreds of thousands of years old, are just gone. Crumbled into memory, all within a single lifetime. This isn't some far-off nightmare for Iceland, it's happening right now. 70 of its 400 glaciers. Already lost. The island's ice has shrunk by a staggering tenth in just 25 years. This is the story of a desperate race, a mission to capture the last whispers of these titans before they disappear forever. Iceland, a land famously sculpted by fire and ice, is changing before our very eyes. Its iconic glaciers, which blanket about 10% of the country, are shrinking faster than almost anywhere else on the planet. Scientists warn that if things don't change, all of Iceland's glaciers could vanish within the next 200 years. Some, like the legendary Snæfellsjökull, Jules Verne's gateway to the journey to the center of the Earth, might only have about 25 years left. And this isn't just about losing pretty scenery, it's about a massive shift in how our planet works. These glaciers are crucial sources of fresh water and help regulate global temperatures. Their melt means rising sea levels, putting coastal communities worldwide at risk. But in the midst of this rapid loss, a dedicated group of filmmakers, photographers, and artists has taken on an incredible challenge. They're heading into the heart of these dying ice worlds, driven by an urgent need to document their haunting beauty, and their heartbreaking end. Their expeditions aren't just about getting stunning shots, they're creating a lasting record of a world on the edge, a testament to what we're losing, and a desperate plea for us all to pay attention. They face brutal conditions, dangerous terrain, and the heavy emotional toll of watching an ending unfold. This is their story, an inside look at their visually stunning and deeply moving journeys into the final moments of Iceland's glaciers. The call of the ice, embarking on the impossible deciding to film a dying glacier isn't a casual choice, it's a response to an undeniable call, a need to show the world the sheer scale of this crisis. Take glaciers like Breathamerka Jokul, an outlet of the massive Votnayerkel ice cap. It's thinning and retreating at an alarming pace. The Yukulsaualone Glacial Lagoon, fed by its meltwater, has grown by about half a square kilometer every year since 1982, you can literally see the glacier shrinking. Some parts of Breathamerka Jokul pulled back as much as 3.5 kilometers between 1991 and 2015. For the filmmakers, this means painstaking preparation. These expeditions are like complex puzzles, demanding serious expertise in navigating extreme environments. They work closely with glaciologists and climate scientists, including those at the Icelandic Meteorological Office, who track the terrifying melt rates and the growing instability of mountain slopes as the ice disappears. These experts point out that Iceland's air temperatures have risen three to four times faster than other parts of the Northern Hemisphere since 2000. Every trip to the ice is a gamble against time and the elements. Drones have become vital, offering sweeping views of landscapes often too dangerous to reach on foot. They reveal the intricate patterns of retreat, the dramatic moments when huge chunks of ice crash into newly formed lakes, and just how fast these preglacial waters are expanding. Time-lapse photography is another powerful tool, squeezing decades of change into mere seconds, making the speed of the loss impossible to ignore. But beyond all the tech, it's the human spirit of these documentarians that truly stands out, their resilience against freezing winds, their patience waiting for that perfect, poignant shot, and the quiet sorrow of seeing such profound loss firsthand. They're also very aware that the United Nations has declared 2025 the International Year of Glaciers Preservation, which only adds to the urgency of their work. Into the crystal cathedrals, beauty and decay stepping onto a glacier is like entering another world. You're surrounded by towering ice formations, deep crevasses glowing with an almost supernatural blue light, and vast, silent ice caves. It's truly awe-inspiring. 
Filmmakers work to capture this incredible beauty, the intricate details of the ice, the way light dances across its surfaces, the sheer scale of these frozen rivers. These are the kinds of images that can really connect with people, helping everyone understand what's at stake. It's no wonder many popular films and series, like Game of Thrones and Against the Ice, have used Icelandic glaciers such as Fjallsalen as dramatic backdrops, showing their raw, wild nature to millions. But right alongside this breathtaking beauty is the constant, unavoidable evidence of decay. Meltwater streams carve new paths through the ice, their sound growing louder, more insistent. The edges of the glaciers are always changing, sometimes retreating by meters in a single year. These documentarians aren't just capturing static landscapes, they're filming a process, a slow-motion collapse. They might wait for days to film a carving event, that moment when a block of ice the size of a skyscraper shears off the glacier's face and crashes into the water below. It's a dramatic spectacle, but also a deeply somber one. This carving is currently responsible for about a third of Breathamerka Jokul's mass loss. One of the most heartbreaking symbols of this loss is Oak Jokul. In 2014, it became the first Icelandic glacier to be officially declared dead because it had thinned so much it couldn't even move under its own weight anymore. A commemorative plaque was installed in 2019, a letter to the future, acknowledging what's happening and what needs to be done. The plaque poignantly notes the atmospheric carbon dioxide level at the time, 415 parts per million. As of March 2025, that number has climbed to over 428 parts per million. For filmmakers documenting these sites, like Hilsum Rizavi, who worked on the documentary A Funeral for Ice, these expeditions are profoundly emotional. They get to see the stark realities of glacial retreat up close, chronicling not just the physical end of a glacier, but the emotional and ecological grief that comes with it. The weight of witness, why these images matter the race to film Iceland's vanishing glaciers is about so much more than just art, it's an act of historical preservation and a powerful way to raise awareness. These visual records turn abstract scientific data about climate change into tangible, relatable stories. When people see the dramatic before and after images, like those created by Dr. Kieran Baxter using historical photos and modern drone footage, the scale of loss becomes crystal clear. These comparisons show glaciers shrinking by tens, sometimes hundreds, of meters every single year. This documentation is incredibly important for several reasons. Scientifically, the footage gives researchers invaluable data for studying how glaciers behave and the impacts of climate change. Historically, these films will become a vital archive, preserving the memory of landscapes that future generations might never get to see. And culturally, glaciers are deeply woven into Icelandic identity, appearing in sagas, folklore, and the national consciousness. Their disappearance is a profound cultural loss, and these films capture that poignant story. There's this idea called shifting baseline syndrome, basically, as younger generations grow up in a world with less ice, their idea of what's normal changes. Visual documentation helps fight this, reminding us of what once was and what's being rapidly lost. Projects like the temporary glacier graveyard installation near Reykjavik in 2024, which featured ice gravestones for endangered glaciers, use visual art to spark strong emotional responses and grab public attention. These kinds of artistic interventions often become central to documentary films, making their message even stronger. The goal is to change perspectives, to make the climate crisis personal and emotionally resonant because, as some filmmakers have noted, it's often only through seeing it with your own eyes that the true scale really hits home. The Enduring Echo, a race without a finish line when filmmakers look back at their footage, it's often with a mix of feelings, satisfaction at capturing a stunning scene, deep sorrow for the disappearing ice, and a renewed sense of urgency. Their work is far from over because the glaciers just keep retreating. 
The Icelandic Meteorological Office confirms that Iceland's rate of glacial mass loss is among the highest in the world. Globally, glaciers have been losing an average of 273 billion tons of ice every year since the early 2000s, and that rate is speeding up. We're already seeing the consequences. Beyond rising sea levels, melting glaciers mean a higher risk of rock avalanches as mountain slopes become unstable, and flooding from new glacial lakes. Even infrastructure is affected, harbors like Hupen in southeast Iceland are becoming shallower because the land is actually rising as the immense weight of the ice disappears, causing problems for shipping. On the flip side, for a while, increased meltwater might boost hydroelectric power output, an industry Iceland relies on heavily, but this is a temporary gain before an eventual decline as peak water is reached in the coming decades. These filmmakers know their work is a constant effort to keep up with this rapid change. They're building a visual archive, a library of last moments. Their films and photographs are powerful educational tools, reaching people all over the world and helping them understand the climate crisis more deeply. They contribute to a global conversation, especially as the world looks towards 2025 as the International Year of Glaciers Preservation, a UN initiative to raise awareness and spur action. The story these filmmakers tell is one of loss, yes, but it is also one of incredible human dedication, a commitment to make sure these icy giants aren't forgotten, that their final, haunting beauty, is etched into our collective memory. The fate of Iceland's glaciers, and indeed glaciers all over the world, really holds up a mirror to our planet's health. By watching and sharing stories like this one, we can all help spread the word about this critical issue. Why not take a moment to learn more about glacier preservation efforts and what actions we can all take to tackle climate change. The story of ice is, in the end, a story about us. These expeditions into Iceland's dying world of ice are a profound act of bearing witness. The filmmakers who take on these journeys are driven by the knowledge that every single frame they capture is a piece of a disappearing legacy. Their work gives us a precious window into a realm of extraordinary beauty, now tinged with an inescapable sadness. As the ice melts and the glaciers retreat, they leave behind a dramatically changed landscape and a silence that speaks volumes. These visual chronicles aren't just obituaries for the ice, they are urgent messages in a bottle, sent from the front lines of climate change, urging us to see, to understand, and perhaps, to act before more of our world's natural wonders vanish right before our eyes. The race to film their final moments is a race to preserve not just images, but the very memory of what it means to share a planet with these magnificent, frozen titans.